Hello and welcome to Who Hub News. This is a new video series where we look over the latest news in the Doctor Who universe. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe or you will be exterminated in your sleep. Our first story comes from the Radio Times and is Doctor Who star Alex Kingston says it would be a great shame if River Song never met Jodie Whittaker's Doctor. While talking to the Radio Times, she was promoting the River Song novel that was going to be released and the Big Finish Adventures. She was also asked about a reunion with uh, Jodie Whittaker's 13th Doctor. She said to the Radio Times, it would be a great shame if it were not to happen, let's put it in that way. It would be cool to see River Song come back for an episode or two, but it's mostly where I ask the comment section, let us know what you think. Um, have you heard the new Big Finish River Song audios? Probably not sure you have, but comment down if you have. One thing I did realise when looking through all these news uh, articles is that a lot of them are talking about Jodie Whittaker leaving. I'm not really going to comment on this video as I've got like two others predicting who's going to be the next Doctor. But um, also let me know what you think about that. Our next story comes from The Guardian and is Sylvester McCoy says doubts about female Doctor were stupid sexism. There's probably a truth in that fraction, or probably that Chris Chibnall is a shit writer and didn't really do Jodie Whittaker justice. I feel like uh, Sylvester McCoy could relate to that, uh, being under John Nathan Turner as a showrunner. I'm Janet Fielding. Uh, there's quite a few similarities if you actually look quite deep into it. McCoy was quoted in 2015 as saying the Time Lord should never regenerate as a woman, but has since then gone back on these words. He was quoted to say, um, after watching her for five minutes, he said that she was the doctor, as far as he was concerned. The article is quite long, so I'm going to link it down in the description. Comment what you think about Sylvester McCoy. He's actually my personal favourite classic doctor. Our next story is an exclusive down at the Radio Times, and is Mark Gatiss is open to returning to Doctor Who. This does mean open to writing an episode, or maybe starring in it again. I think he's been like two people in Doctor Who. He was talking to them about promoting his uh, target novelization of The Crimson Horror, which is a story they previously wrote for Matt Smith. As for whether he will contribute to the TV series again, Gattis, who had actually wrote nine episodes between 2005 and 2017, said that the door was open. Uh, Chris Chibnall had previously emailed him, telling him about all the um, cast and the the, um, writers that they were going to have on the new show and said that he was also open to having Mark Gatiss write another story for the series. It would be pretty good as most of his stories have been pretty solid. Most of them. Most of them. Let me know in the comment section what you think. I feel like this is almost a Radio Times special as this story also comes from the Radio Times. Doctor Who's Joe Martin wants a return or a spin-off for her fugitive doctor. Joe Martin's doctor was pretty cool for the brief moments that we actually saw her. And they could do a spin-off with um, Brit Box, but I think they're gonna tie her doctor more into the, the, the main series before they would do like any type of spin-off. They need to explain why her doctor is chronologically first. Hello? I'm the doctor. This article is quite interesting as it shows how much in the dark the actors are kept about what's happening in Doctor Who, for example, Joe Martin didn't even know that John Bishop was going to be starring in the next series of Doctor Who until the um, trailer dropped. She also added, I think there's so much more story, what they set up opens up a whole world that we've not fully explored in Doctor Who yet. As of yet, Joe Martin's Doctor has only featured in Fugitive of the Jadoon and The Timeless Child, which is only a brief cameo that didn't really explain much to like what Doctor she is, where she fits in and all that, but you know. Hopefully it'll get explained by Chris Chibnall. Our next and last headline comes from Doctor Who TV, not the Radio Times, and the headline is Chris Chibnall has masterfully fooled the fan base. Or has Chris Chibnall masterfully fooled the fan base? Um, but I still felt that that story was fairly um, boring. I read the article and it's basically about how most of the fan base is pissed off because of Timeless Children because it kind of made everything canon like the brain of Morbius pretty sure it made Peter Cushion canon too This is Invasion Earth 
2150 AD. This is Invasion Earth, 2150 AD. The article was trying to say that Chris Chibnall kind of has it all under plans, like he knows what he's doing, but he watched the show, I don't think he does. I'd like to be wrong, you know. Maybe they're going to try and do like a Doctor Who cinematic universe. You know, like how Marvel has like 500 shows. Maybe they're going to do it with Doctor Who, like the Brain of Morbius show. Chop Suey, the Galactic Emperor. That's it. That's it for Who Hub News today. We'll probably upload another one next week. We'll see what the uh, Doctor Who news tab on Google is saying. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. I know you keep saying comment because I do actually want to know what the Doctor Who fan base is saying. Because the regenerate shit nor comment really made me laugh. I want to I wanna hear more of those kind of comments, you know what I mean? We have a 2000s Doctor Who merchandise video about like the time that David Tennant and Chris Freckleston were Doctor. There's also about animated history and a few Doctor Who predictions. All links of today's articles will be linked in the description down below along with a radio station that we do um we stream live at like midnight mainly in the evenings but i like midnight streams maybe like 20 minutes to an hour if you like indie if you like hip-hop anything you know stream anything thank you for listening this was who hub news